if you don't like the truth and if you don't want to hear me talk about sex trafficking and child pedophilia from the Catholic Church, it's time for you to turn and go to a different station or a different channel because that's what's about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have all heard in recent months about, as some might say, the allegations of several priests, many priests for that matter, abusing children in the Catholic Church. There have been specific churches pointed out, and even over recent weeks and months, even churches overseas in other countries. And now all of a sudden, after the Catholic Church slash diocese or Vatican has been ignoring all of these allegations, even though they have been aware of them for many years. I'm being slight. Many, many years. Many decades. All of a sudden now, they are supposedly trying to correct what has been done. You can't correct it because it has been a part of the Catholic Church since its inception. Yes, pedophilia, sex trafficking as well has been occurring in the Catholic Church for many, 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 many years. This is distasteful to many this is unheard of and there are many who stand to lose some, something that don't want to hear anyone such as myself even bring this subject up however painful it may be you may have relatives that are priests or nuns or bishops you may have family members that belong in the Catholic Church or some Catholic Church diocese and so forth it may even be you and it abhors you to hear someone down or to talk in a less than honorable fashion noble fashion if you will about a place that you probably have paid homage to for all or most of your life and I understand I understand fully and I want to say to you to all of you that are Catholic members or have family that is Catholic and so forth I'm sorry for all of you that have had to hear this news and I'm sorry to uh, hear that all of you that have been uh, victims or victimized by these cruel individuals whoever they are for so long and you're just now speaking out about it because of the atrocity of it and the pain that you bore for so many years and many decades for many of you it should never ever happen it's wrong it's insane and it's ungodly I recall myself personally but before I say that I've been hearing about Catholic priests and Catholic members abusing children ever since I was a child. I've been hearing it. But now it has come to light even more. And about 15, 20 years ago, I was working in nursing at a Catholic facility. And I took care of a priest who was in a nursing home and he made an advancement to me just in brevity I just wanted to bring that up so I know that it does happen and it has happened this man tried to get with me and I let him know no father 
Uh-uh. We, we can't do that. All right. That's the end of the story, and I won't go any further. So, to hear, especially these incidents that have just come to light, as I said a moment ago, it's not unusual to me. Shouldn't be unusual to anyone. It's unusual behavior, yes, and it shouldn't happen. But if we were all honest, we can all at least admit that we've heard for decades that it's been going on in the Catholic Church. So, again, you have uh, my apologies. However small of an individual I am, uh, I am sorry that you had to go through that. But it doesn't change the fact that it is rampant in the Catholic Church. And these are not isolated events. It's in the Catholic Church, period. That's it. So well, what are we going to do about it? Is it going to go on in litigation for the next hundred years? Before it's cleaned up? Before they clean all of the garbage out of the church? What does it take? I'm, I'm asking you out there in the audience, what do you think needs to be done in the Catholic Church to right this wrong? Now, you're not going to get everybody. That's understood because this comes from high places in the Catholic Church, not the small parishes and so forth. This is high places and it trickles on down. So what do we do, ladies and gentlemen? Does anyone out there have a real answer to how we deal with this news? And how do you comfort, how do you heal those young, at the time, impressionable human beings, those children that had to bear this emotional and physical trauma all of their lives up until this point. What do we do? That's my question. It's just that simple. But one thing we can't do is deny what we do in fact know to be a fact. It happened and it continues to happen.